Greetings, friend. Back in. Outward. Hardcore mode. New Sirocco. What are we even doing? What am I doing? Okay, I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm build, rebuilding the city. I just got to get my bearings here. Very triumphant music. Stealing Fire's Log has been updated. Okay. Got to get two specialized buildings in there. I got the three houses built already. This is my city hall right here. I know that. Okay, so. Completed in eight days. Is that phase two? Phase one. Okay, I've been playing another game, so I gotta make sure I like... Come on now. Get back into the habit. I got locked into that punch animation. Oh, man. Come on, dude. I gotta get serious about this. Hardcore. I gotta survive. What am I doing? I shouldn't be playing other games. I should spend all my time in Outward. Okay, these buildings are built. I love this area. I wish I could put like a fountain here. Like, I kind of wish with the city building, if they're going to go city building for a DLC, let's, let's build a real city with fountains and trees and bushes. Let, let's, you know, where's my, oh, where's my blueprints for decorative things? Okay, walls where I could plant ivy. I Honestly, that, that's what I wish there would be. Okay, dude, this is my stone shop. Perfect. Stonemason's workshop. Dude, are these people... I wish you could go in here as well. I wish you could enter the houses and talk to the residents. I just really want to get involved in the city. I feel like I'm tied to these citizens in, in, a, in a way. I mean, I think I've given up my last gold bar for everyone in this settlement. There's something to be said for it. Okay, yeah, we gotta get that city hall built before we can even build another specialized building, I think. Because our uh, Voltaic Vines, so we're going Enchanting Guild, requires city hall. There it is, dude. There it is right there. So, what's on the agenda? What are the resources? Okay, we got plenty of food. We're losing five per day. We're losing 75 funds per day. And we're gaining some stone and timber, so. Dude, I'm gonna sleep for seven days. So, what are we working on today? I like to spend a week helping with the construction task. Yeah. We're grateful to you. <sighs> I'm glad you're grateful, Joseph, because um, honestly, I'm putting in a lot of time, a lot of time with the hammer, a lot of time with you know mixing the mortar. Okay. This should now be completed in, what, one day? One day. Phase one. Okay, so. Let's sleep on our little plant tent. <laughs> they haven't given me a, a place to rest? See, this is the funny thing. This is what I sleep in. I've poured all this gold into this settlement to build these homes. I've re farmed out these rare resources to get the city hall underway. This is where I sleep every night. Okay, there's something amiss. At least, like, the Sower Boring can maybe let me sleep in there? No, no. This is where I sleep. Okay. Uh, good, I need to repair anyways. I'm gonna be happy to sleep in the plant tent. I'm not gonna com complain, no. Sleep for 12, repair for 12. Just really just camp out. Take a day off of work. The hard labor is getting to my body. I do uh, manual labor for a living, construction. 
And uh, my body's feeling pretty good, actually. So, you know, not really sure why I said that. Just because I was thinking about the wear and tear on people's bodies for construction. All right, 2,000, yeah, yeah, get it done. 15 days? Oh my, wow. This is just incredible, the building process. 15 days, I think I need to sleep more. I mean, spend a week building. So, what are we working on today? I'm gonna spend another week with you working. Although, what does that do to my food count? So, that? what's on the agenda today? My food's still okay, my funds is what's gonna run out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. This is... This is a bit of a drain on my finances. I'm not gonna pretend like it's not. So, what are we working on today? We're yeah. grateful to you. We'll spend a week in construction. Getting back to the wear and tear on the body. I used to have back issues big time. Lower back, dude. It gave me fits. And, uh... I would fight through it and try to work through it. And I would, but it's just like... Dude, wake up, waking up every morning... Getting out of bed sore and not even that old. It's like, this has got to change. So, uh, I'm actually taking CBD oil with like a turmeric. It's like a anti-inflammatory thing. And dude, that has done, that has been a world of difference. It's made a world of difference, I should say. Let's get a lantern going. Because it's pitch black. My pocket's overweight because of my nucks. Yeah, CBD oil blend with turmeric supposed to reduce inflammation. It really has. My back pain. I, I, don't, I don't even experience back pain. Kind of a weird plug for CBD oil. I, don't worry. I'm, I'm not getting paid by that. No one knows who I am. So, All right. Completed in nine days. Um, part of me just wants to sleep and complete it. I mean... I guess I'm gonna have to get funds. Okay, can I sell things? Dude. Maybe I should sell this stuff instead of awaken it. Okay, I can sell these things. Might as well. Why do I have six hexa stones? Sell them. I've got that for the unknown arena and hollowed marsh that I wanna do. Predator bones? Why? Honestly, why? I actually want to leave them there just because they look kind of cool in the, in the stash. Sell the Boreo tusks. I've got nine gold bars. Um, get Donate those to the building fund. Gems. To the building fund. All your valuable... Diamond dust? And blood root, dude. Maybe, maybe there's a specialized building that I can do uh, with diamond dust that doesn't require city hall being built. That would be big, and it would also be a huge oversight on my part that I should have caught. So, what's on the agenda? Today? Well, how can I help you? I want to buy something. First of all, I want to give you all my ingots. I want to give you all these. I want to give you all my gems. Basically, everything I have that's precious, I want to give it to you so we can build up the settlement so that I can continue to sleep in a plant tent in the corner of the settlement. Kind of a little bit of a rant there. I just felt like I had to get it off my chest to um, this guy, whatever his name is, Dorian. Or is this Joseph? I think that's Joseph. Honestly... Not quite sure at this moment. 1932? Okay, dude. Yeah. Made a pretty big haul off that stuff. Okay. So, what's on the agenda today? Um, well, I'm gonna add funds. I'm gonna add all the silver that I 
and all my ingots. Did I sell him my ingots? That was weird. That was totally strange, but that's fine. At the end of the day, we've got the funds that we desired. So, what are we working on um, today? Oh, let me see if you have something so, I can build. What are we working on today? I want to build something. Specialized buildings. Anything involving diamond dust. Flash moss? Do I have it? I honestly got to take a little quick inventory of what I have as far as rare materials go. Voltaic vines. That's what I'm doing for the enchanting guild. That's what I figure for the enchanting guild. Okay, but enchanting, enchanting guild cannot be built until city hall is built. That's that's really the crux of the issue. Um, these none of these are the rare resources I'm looking at. The diamond dust is though I think. The blood root is. That brain is not. All right, diamond dust and blood root. So. What are we working on today? Petrified organs, nope. Flash moss, nope. Ectoplasm, nope. Amethyst geode, already did it. City hall, yep. Voltaic vines, there it is. Enchanting guild, that's what I, that's all I've got planned. Digested my mana stone. Chromium shards, blood root. City, okay, blood root for gladiators arena, but city hall is required. And I think it costs more than the enchanting guild. Diamond dust. City hall required. Yep, City Hall required. See, the only things that aren't City Hall required is like Alchemist Shop, the shops. Food store. See, the food store would be good to get. Then I could get food coming in instead of losing food every day. Just let me plant some trees to beautify this area, please. That's all I ask. Completed in nine days. Maybe there's a mod. Maybe someone can make a mod out there that's like adds items to your city building situation. It's completed in nine days. Okay, let's just take another week and work on the construction. Dude, I'm gonna take a week and help you out building, okay? These guys <laughs> work through the night and stuff. That guy takes a really long time to hammer that nail in. Um, I probably wouldn't hire you. To do a job with me but that's okay we're just random people building up a settlement we're not gonna be able to drive a 16 penny nail through a piece of wood in, a, in one swipe like my old boss used to so what's on I'm the not agenda I don't want to talk to you I want to sleep so, what are we working this is a relief spend a week welcome to the caldera spend weeks building um, Try to find and discover rare materials throughout the region. Um, it's a bit of a slog. I'm not even going to pretend it's not. Completed in a day. Dude, how's my food situate? <laughs> I think I'm traumatized because of my first time I ran out of food and construction stopped immediately. I think my food's good. I'm just a little bit... A little bit wary of it. I'm just gonna sleep for the 24. Sleeping in the plant tent. Wish I had like a guitar. I could just kind of play the guitar. Sleep inside the plant. People probably admire me actually in, within the city. Uh, oh, she's she's so admirable. Just like sleeping and nice. It's done. Yeah, dude. City Hall. So there you are. Um. Do I have samples? No. Well, let's get to work. All right. How can I help you? I'm actually doing pretty good on food. Pretty decent. Minus five a day still. Okay, I guess Enchanting Guild. What costs less? Enchanting Guild or Gladiator's Arena? Gladiator's Arena to Enchanting Guild's 5,000. 160 stone, 100 timber. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'd like to... I'd like to enchant my porcelain knocks. That'd be fun. Explore land is almost burnt out. Okay, where can I place the guild? That's what I'm trying to do here. Nice. Come on now. Let's get the guild up and running. Just stones. Okay, let's add stones. I only need six more stones. And then once I get that special specialized building up and running, that'll be I think that'll that'll be it for my building requirements. Then we can actually move on and play the game. Alright, so this guy, Dorian. How can I help you? Dorian gives me the stones. Let's just buy a few stones. It's not much. Ah, oh, yes. Dawn is rising over the over the depressed settlement. I feel like I got a little neighborhood going. People shouldn't be uh, down and out anymore. There it is. Construction starts next morning. 15 days for phase one. Hmm. I wonder if there's a mod that just bypasses all construction tasks? No. I wouldn't do that. Come on. Alright, dude. 15 days, I guess. Uh... How's my food situation? How can I help you? Food is good. And we're getting five funds per day. That's good. We were missing. Okay, perfect. To sleep. So, what are we working on today? I'd like to spend a week building. This is a relief. Is it? Is it a relief? Oh man, it's a slog for me. All right, the time flies by. Turn our lantern off. Spend another week. Might as well. So, what are we working Actually, on today? Actually, let's double check that food. Honestly. So, what's on the agenda? Three forty-five. We're still fine. So, what are we working on today? This is a relief. I know. I know it is for you. All right, now it should just be uh, one day till we get to. Phase two. They should have just went all out and made like ten phases of construction. They should have just made it like real life, where it just takes like a, two years to build a building, real time. I mean, might as well. Might as well make it make it like that. Yeah. So there's still people who are down and out right here. This people. This person's still trying to heal. There was. There's structures. Um, Excuse me, there's structures that you can take this man into. There's homes with beds. There's a big city hall right there that you can see. We can get this guy out of the elements, out of the tent. Okay, she's not listening. I mean, you can plead. You can plead only so much. Before you just gotta move on. Completed in two days. Okay. Ah, so much more optimism during the day in the new Sirocco. Yeah, running over little rocks. Kind of playful right now. I wish I could roll over the bags. Almost talked to him, but kind of decided against it. What is the city hall? Can I sleep in the city hall? I think maybe this provides a bed for me. If I remember correctly. Oh, yes. Finally. Hey, it's nice of you guys to actually provide a bed for me. Just wanted to, you know, 
voice my appreciation. Can you fall on Evangeli's head right here? Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Continuing to feel playful about it. Sleep for two days. You know, before they nerfed all the potion recipes, they used to be able to just sleep for three days, restock on ingredients, sell po make and sell potions, sleep for three days. And no matter how much you wanted to play the game, like, above board, you, ju you just couldn't help but just do the po potion thing. Um, every time I started to play through, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to do that potion thing. Immediately get into Sierra's Oak start buying ingredients for potions it just happens so, something that happens I'm actually glad they nerfed it that way it just forced me not to do it okay let's check it out kind of run up the stone wall spin off yeah do, do some acrobatics underneath that perfect Can I climb this? That's, that's a huge question I have. This is this is big right here. Come on now. Oh, I really want to do. Am I gonna get stuck and die? That's a that's another giant question. Come on now. Yeah. Get up there. Yes, comfort's perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, nice. Kind of oversee the construction. Everyone who thought I was admirable for sleeping in the plant tent earlier, like while I'm building up the city and donating all my funds, now they realize, oh, okay, now she's placing herself above everyone. Kind of looking down at the peasants. Kind of showing off by flipping off the cliff. Took some damage there, actually stones I need more of. Funds is actually... The funds, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it on the funds. Alright, let's go stones. I honestly didn't even remember. I didn't even keep track of how many stones I needed. I don't think I needed that many. 15 maybe? Dude, things are starting to look up now at the city hall. Can I help you? Um, stones? Let's buy 18. How can I help you? So if you can get, um, like if you get the food store up and running, it brings in more food. And then you could have positives, like net positives per day on all these resources. And then just continue to sleep and sleep and sleep. Um, and build all this up. And you can upgrade the storehouse to, to hold, I think, like, 2,000 items. 2,000 stone, 2,000 timber, 2,000 food. I, th I think that... I know you can upgrade it to hold a lot more. And then you can max everything out. Um, I think a Churchy, I think, make it, made a, a video on that. So, pretty useful if you got that food store. So, what are we working on today? But can I do this upgrade? Hunting Lodge Upgrade. City Hall Required. Oh, funds and stone and tons of timber. Oh, man. Okay. It's actually... It's going to be worth it for me to do that, though. I got to upgrade at least the food store to get pot... You know, to get some positive net... Uh... To get a net positive on the food coming in. Start the construction. Our funds are low now. Completed in 15 days. Am I running? Am I gonna fail this quest because of time? Because Dorian gives you like 150 days. I feel like with all these 15 day phases, I'm uh, creeping up on that 150 days. How do you even tell? What are we working on today? Um, 
Magma forges will be installed in about 150 days. Okay. About 150 days? I'll sleep for two weeks, I guess. So, what are we working on today? We're grateful to you. All right. Spend a week sleeping. Not sleeping. Working. And we know they work through the night, so I guess just one week straight, night and day. It's fine. Yet they have me a, a picture with in front of a bed? Okay, you know I don't sleep during this time. Why pretend that I, like, see a bed during that whole week? So, what are we working on today? I have to spend a week. Wait. I gotta, gotta double check this. So, what's on the agenda today? We're still decent on food. Good. Our funds are building, are building up too. Good. Perfect. So, what are we working on today? Spend We're a week. grateful to you. Mmm. This is probably a great watch for you guys. Just, you know, watching me spend weeks and weeks on construction. I know it's at least one day. Let's sleep in the plant tent for old time's sake. That other bed is not even that comfortable anyways. Um, plus it look at look at the weather. It's all nice. It's beautiful out. It's kind of warm from the magma. Probably really nice to camp outside in this setting. So I'll go ahead and keep it rolling with the plant tent. Alright, so let's check it. It might be... I know, I shouldn't be carrying this lantern around in my hand, but hey, there it is. In fact, can we just go like this? Oh, my pocket's overweight, if, it, if I do that. Completed in a day. All right, one more day. One more day, and then I think we can enchant our Nux. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, still, there it is. The log's been updated. Speak with Joseph Dumas about his improved forge idea. Perfect. Ah, yes. Now that I've got a little bit less work to handle, I've been able to plan out a more effective furnace design. It should vastly improve the smelting of new bricks and other materials. Our workers would be able to do more with less resources. The problem is, I'll need a volcanic forge stone to make it work. And our entire supply fell into the magma when the three brothers had that massive quake. I'll need you to prepare a new one for us to use. Use your ears, huh? Some of our miners have dug out a big chunk of chalcedony crystal that will serve as the raw material for the forge stone. Bring it into the belly of the eldest brother, the volcano behind old Sirocco. Give us a hand, will you? We have a site set up deep in the crater where you can convert the crystal into a forged stone. Once you've gotten it charged up, bring it home and the job's done. Won't I, you know, catch fire going into an active volcano? <laughs> Do you think we'd live in a city with a volcano in our literal backyard and not have found a solution for the heat? Kind of made fun of me for asking a question. We line the lower levels with specially prepared chalcedony. They absorb heat from the nearby environment, and make it safe to traverse. In fact, when you visit the eldest brother, take a look near the bottom and you'll see something we call the ember. With a little coaxing from a mage, it can keep our living areas cool, while also redirecting that heat to charge our forged stones for us. <laughs> He's laughing at me. Ever wonder why being near open magma outside doesn't give you heat stroke on the spot, comforts? You can thank the Ember Heart for that. That's the level of power it has. Its protection blankets the entire region. It'll still be hot in there like nothing you've ever experienced. 
But you won't catch fire just by being in there. How do you expect me to carry such a huge chunk of chalcedony? Do we have a wagon or something? Use your ears, huh? I've got one of our old harnesses meant for carrying ore on your back. Of course, this does mean you can't carry the chalcedony and a backpack at the same time. You should leave your backpack here in the settlement. We'll look after it in the meantime. Prepare yourself as best you can with what space you have in your pockets. Use your ears, huh? It keeps telling me to lose, use my ears, like, okay. Joseph's a bit condescending in this whole interaction, I'm just gonna be honest. And if you happen to lose the Chalcedony Crystal, let me know immediately. It will cost you if you want a replacement, but it's not the end of the world. How do I even get into the volcano in the first place? Here's the plan. There's a large brass door in the back of Old Sirocco's upper district. The route there was closed during the city's collapse, but you should be able to reopen it. There's a lever on a lower level of the city. I think I already opened those. So, what are we working on today? Farewell. Alright, dude, finally got a mission. Bring a large Chalcedony stone to the charging station inside the depths of the Eldest Brother volcano. Then bring the charged stone back to Joseph the New Sirocco. Alright, dude. Let's do it. Uh. 214 pounds. Okay. Okay, so. Equip the stone. This lantern is killing me. What? Okay, what do I need? Alright. What am I doing? Alright, so I'm not gonna take this. Endurance potion, I guess I'll take uh, one. Life potions. Maybe I'll take I'll take two with me, maybe. Maybe three just in case. What else am I gonna take? This might be nice to take. One of those. Grants barrier from elemental attack. Hmm. Obviously gotta take the knuckles. Uh, I gotta equip the knuckles. The this uh Explorer Lantern is one? It weighs one one unit of weight? Surprise, I thought it'd weigh like a point five. Hmm. Alright, what else? What else? What else? The varnishes, yeah. Why are my varnishes low? I need to make more... I need to make spiritual varnish. Take an ice varnish. I can also infuse ice. Take a water skin. Um. Hmm. Let's take the. Let's take the one with only three units of water. Reduce the weight that way. Um. I guess I can take more. I got plenty of weight. I guess I'll take one more. Great life, I'll take one more great endurance. So I'll take an astral. Might as well just take this now, yeah? What does that do? That gives me mana regen, but my mana's... I've got burnt mana, so... Soothing tea clears burnt mana. Ice tea, burnt mana, reduction. Hmm. Why did I get nervous all of a sudden? Do I need a tent? No. I don't need a tent. Take stone flesh. Take a dismal potion. I guess I'll take elemental resistance, one of them. 
Hmm. Take one more great astral. What else? I, I gotta remember, I got I need varnishes. I'm gonna make some spiritual varnish, so. Where's my ghost eyes? Take two of those. So I just need my mana stone. I'll take this too. Vagabond's gelatin. Weather defense? No, I think I'll be fine. Hot weather, I do well in hot weather. Maybe I should enchant the knuckles too. Yeah, honestly, I got nervous all of a sudden. My body's now warm. All of a sudden, heat came to my body. Oh, I don't need to... I don't need to make spiritual varnishes. I just... Grab a couple. Um... Grab one more ice varnish. Trying to think of what else. I guess I'll grab another. I got. Hmm. Guess I'll grab one more spiritual. Every ethereal is a good element. It's just everything's kind of vulnerable to it. Um. I think that's it. I've got protection from what? What did I consume? Protection is gone. Hmm. Do you need, I think, I almost think, I can't remember how the enchanting works with this. Something on your mind. I think you'll enjoy our new permanent enchanting setup. No filling with incense pillars required for this one. Place a rare material from the caldera. Nope. Nope. Bye. Again with the rare materials. Alright, what I need to do as well, I need to take a endurance potion. Just use one right now. What is this? Pocket overweight. Not really sure why I'm taking all those potions. Like, uh, Stone Flesh. I guess. Guess I'll use it up. There's some, there's some tough enemies on this, on this run. Get to the eldest brother. Finally feel like we've got a mission to accomplish. Yeah. The plume of smoke pouring out. Yeah, I'm feeling motivated now. Dude, just give me a mission, that's all. Just give me a mission. I, I kind of feel like I need to... Uh, I gotta save my knuckles, though. I was gonna say, I kind of want to fight something. Um, just make sure I'm back in the rhythm, dude. Gotta get back in the rhythm. Gotta use mana push. I mean, yeah, sweep kick. Gotta work that in, obviously. Obviously. Dun dun, Mr. Dun. Yeah. Make your way. 
I like the Chalcedony backpack, it's pretty cool. Yeah, dude. You're it. This character is awesome, man. You're just cool. You're just absolutely cool. I'd be sad if I came across a rare material right here because I don't have anything to, to mine it, harvest it. Obsidian Elemental. Do I have an ice? I don't have ice rags. Oh, I can't waste a varnish. I can't. Sorry, just can't do it. Like on one hand, I want to fight it. But I should fight it without a varnish. But then that's scary. Without any imbue. If I had a rag, I'd do it. Old Sirocco. Yes! Pumped to be on a quest again. If I wanted to build a city, I'd play Sim City. Okay, I like that game. Yeah, I've already opened this up. Why am I opening this chest? I can't carry anything in my bag. I guess I'm just kind of seeing it for... Oh, I guess I could... You know what? Let's just use this. Use the Possessed Potion to increase that. And use Barrier Potion. Perfect. I can deal with a few fools. Varnished up. Oh, Rocky. Good. Perfect way to get my feet wet here. Yeah. Nice. What do we got? Anything? No. Eldest brother, come on. Gotta charge up this forge stone. I, I'm realizing I gotta play with more confidence than I have been. Dude, last episode I struggled confidence wise. I just gotta take it up a notch. Bracing potion. Resistance to status effects. Might as well just use it. I mean. What does that even mean? Does that mean I don't get status effects? Does that mean they don't last as long? Good. Good. Someone described the combat and outward as turn-based, kind of. And I really like that analogy. I really like that. It's really true. You take turns. Don't try to trade blows with people. Yeah, you take turns. Dude, health restoration over time. That's what I didn't have. That's what I needed. Good. Jerky. Perfect. Chest right here. Burnt mana. Leave the varnish. Maybe we'll get the varnish on the way back. Dude, the eldest brother. It's nice. There's the ember heart right there. Right in the center. There's that platform down there. That's where I gotta get to. Hmm. Gargoyle. Okay, let's go Ethereal. They're weak to Ethereal. Let's go Mistspoon too, might as well. Oh, it got me. Good. Trade blows. Oh, dude, that attack. Oh, it got me again. Come on, get out of there. Nice. Good. Oh, that sword. 
That sword will dev it. That'll devastate you, dude. Honestly, he hits you like seven times with that. Nice. Good way to step up, dude. Yeah, let's take some health restoration over time. Dude, that's what I forgot. Health restoration over time. So fortunate to have found that jerky. Crystal powder gives you mana, right? Use the stone flesh. Also use... Yeah, use the termite pottage. Just consume things, because there's no backpack to store it in. It's actually probably a better way to play the game, just consume whatever you come across. Burnt health, burnt stamina. I guess I'll just... Probably shouldn't. Let's just renew... Good. Renew the spiritual varnish. I'm down. Let's do it. Another gargoyle, anyways. Perfect. Oh, dude. That's honestly, I'm so scared of that. Oh. Oh. Nice, that attack. I love that one. Oh no. Good. Come on, Gargi. Perfect. Just towing. Oh my goodness. Poor crab. Is he stuck? I feel like tor crabs are the bane of my existence. Oh no. Hung up on the rocks. Good. Don't try to block me. Just give in. Just let go. Um, use the marathon potion. <sighs> Tor crab's stuck. Interesting. I'm just gonna let him be stuck. I'm not even gonna worry about it. How long is my imbue going for? Missed. Boom. Another minute. Uh, let's refresh the mist. Snail. Probably could have staggered if I would have held with it there. Yeah, take your time. Don't try to heal yourself, please. Again, just let go and give in. There you go. I guess I'm just gonna leave gems. At a certain point, I can't, you know, keep filling the bag. It's not even a bag; it's a stone. I mean, it's a pockets. I guess. I guess I'm stuffing all this into the dress. It's fine, I guess. How many times can I say I guess? That's, a, that's another big question. Oh my goodness. Nice, dude. Yeah, stop. Stop. Honestly, don't even try it. I've got my confidence back. Just telling people to stop. Where am I going? The wrong way. That's where. What do my knuckles look like? Dude, they're durable. Durability? Oh, another little cat walk out into the ember. Oh, into the heart of the mountain. <laughs> so cool, I love it. So glad to be on a quest again. Oh. Uh, I gotta remember that two gems. Uh, I guess. 
Honestly, is that really... It's going to be like... <sighs> It'll buy a few things of stones for the building fund. The gems. Let's go cool boon. I've got my eyes varnish. Good. Nice. Oh, dude. Big mistake. It's just going to be the end. <sighs> That's going to be the end for you. What time is it? Got to keep my eye on the clock. Got to be somewhere in a bit. Dude, speed boost. Okay, we got a few enemies there. Obsidian Elemental, I think two of them. Something else, too. I thought there were multiple enemies, more than two. Oh, man. A ghost? Okay. So, here we go. Let's go Ice Varnish again. Cool boon, I guess. Let's go Stone Flash, might as well. Let's use our Discipline Potion. Let's take Shimmer. Let's take Elemental Resistance. Maybe we'll boon up everything. Maybe we'll try to sneak behind someone and use Prismatic on someone. Do I remember how to use Prismatic? I haven't used it in like ages. The number one on the quick slot. Come on. Yes. Perfect. Good. Get out of there. Did I get hit by Doomed? I did. Nice. You're fine. Good. Nice. Get over here. Yeah, leave. Honestly, dude, just leave. Fire varnish. Kind of want to take it. How's my bag? Bag's okay. Obsidian, I want to take it too. Interact with Forge Stone Charging Station. This is clearly the place used for charging up Forge Stones. You place down your Chalcedony Crystal and pull the switch. To your astonishment, you feel a tightly controlled ray of searing heat blast down from the Ember Heart directly into the Chalcedony, making it glow an aggressive orange color. I wish the animation were there to see it. A few minutes later, the switch flips back to normal. The process finished. The Forge Stone clearly contains extreme heat, but does not burn at the touch. It should be safe to return it to Joseph, back at the settlement. Okay. Twelve silver. Do I really want to buy like a half, you know, a foot long piece of wood for twelve silver for the building fund? Return to Joseph. Isn't there? I already checked in that. Short term memory loss. It's a real big thing. Giant drills that they've... Ugh, nice. I like the outward. Outward is very minimal as far as like lore goes, but like they put these things in here, you can like get an idea of what went on in here. Same thing with like last episode with those, those two guys by the boat that they were building. Didn't you have gems? You had a gem. And didn't wasn't there a gem in here? 
There was two gems. I know they buy me like 10 stones, but... 10 stones for the building fund. But still, you can't leave them behind. Dude, I was pleased with that. Kind of want to deal with that tour crab just to, s just to prove a point because I'm scared of him anyways. It is kind of strange though. What is he doing? I think I'm gonna. I think I want to deal with him. I'll be fine. Because I basically want to see what he's up to. What? Oh, wow. Interesting. Interesting, you got hung up on an unidentified sample. Oh, strange. I wish I had a mining pick, I could just mine that. Um, guess I can go back to it. Backtracking to through dungeons just to find, just to get a little unidentified thing. That's Caldera. This is Caldera. When you're, you know you're in the Caldera when you're sprinting through dungeons, just disregarding all enemies, only trying to locate those weird unidentified resources. That's what the Three Brothers DLC boils down to. That's, you gotta be honest, that's what it boils down to. Do I love it? Yeah, I love it. Would I pay money again for the DLC? Yes. If I hadn't played it before. Would I pay again? Uh, like if someone told me, Hey, like, you gotta pay 20 bucks right now or else you're gonna lose uh, Three Brothers DLC. I could say after this playthrough's over. I'd probably say, ah, that's fine. Go ahead and keep, you know, keep the content. I'll keep my 20 bucks. But if I've never experienced it before, yeah, I'd pay 20 bucks again. <laughs> Just let me, like, grow a tree in my city, at least. That's all I ask. What am I even doing? I guess I'm on the other side, yeah. I'm on the other side. Yeah, there's, like, a bridge up here. You gotta drop down. I guess I didn't need to go out this way. Smoke root. Ah, starting to feel comfortable here at night in the, in the Caldera. Okay, interact. That bridge drops. Pretty sure there's some loot back here. Yeah, ornate chest. Take the Hackmanite. I uh, wish I could take that. Kind of do. Actually, I think I will. It's a lot of cash. Oh, and my bag's not even overweight. Okay, it's fine. A silver brought my pocket. Now, let's just take the Vagabond's Jelly, dude. It's about to rot. It has unparalleled properties, it said. Okay, what did it do? A Grand Barrier. What else did it do? Stamina Recovery 4. Okay, it's perfect. It's totally good. Um, did it give me Discipline for a minute? Or is that Holdover from my Discipline Potion? Probably Holdover. Barrier to weather defense, 20, um, okay, yeah, feeling good, hot and cold weather defense, I see why it's unparalleled benefits, 
Boreos scare me right now. Something about it. Got a bad feeling. Every once in a while you get a bad feeling in your gut about certain enemies. Even if they're enemies you destroyed before countless times. Stone flesh? No. Honestly, I just need to get back to the... Uh, I'm looking at the clock. I need to get back to the this, this settlement. Dude, this is enemy central right here. Outward sometimes gets criticized for being... Uh, hmm, what should I say? Empty? The lands are kind of empty. I, I see where people are coming from on that, but... Um, it's never bothered me. Never bothered me. But, uh... Not being able to build a fountain in my city. Hmm. That's a different story. Oh, this is nice, dude. The glow of the forged stone kind of warming my back. I feel it. Um, hmm. I imagine this, the Caldera Night... The Caldera Nights are probably like... Summer nights. You know, where that, that warmth of the day is still hanging in the air. And you're just able to be outside in shorts and t-shirt. Um, eat an ice cream in the back of a tailgate. Just enjoying friendship. Family. Hmm. Those sweet times. I feel that. Now it's winter time where we are. I love winter time though. Winter time. Of course, it doesn't really snow where I am. Maybe if it snows where you live, you might hate winter time because it just, I guess, the, the snow just covers the land for months. I act like every place is either snow or not snow. You're either in snow for months or you're, you never see the snow. There, there's a middle ground. Come on. Greetings, friend. Greetings, dude. I've got like a bunch of jewels I can give you. I've got this $600 pistol that you're gonna buy from me for some reason. Actually, you'll probably turn around and sell it for a grand. Uh, you can't even give me, you don't even have the silver to give me. Okay. Take the hackman knife from me. Why is my pocket overweight? 590 silver. It's fine. I made the decision. I'll just have to roll. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine the pain? Rolling with that stone. I, I literally feel... I think I might be beginning to f feel pain in my back. My actual back. Watching this. Oh my goodness. I almost can't look. Oh, one of the great views of the caldera, I'm always going to say it. Nighttime with the Chalcedony crystals in front of the eldest brother. Love that contrast right there, cold and hot. The beauty of Outward, I'm never gonna, you know, I'll always, I'll always stick up for the beauty of the game. I, I think it's magical environments here. Rolling back with the charged up forge stone. The people in the settlement probably think I'm crazy. Rolling on these steps. Oh, is that comforts? Oh my goodness. He did it, but, um. Uh, but she did it, but why is she, like, doing that? Coming back to the city in that manner. Hey, dude, you gotta do what you gotta do. I did it, dude. Did it, Joseph. Impressed. You did it. Well, my improved furnace design is ready and waiting for this. Our efficiency with building materials is about to get a noticeable boost. Thanks as always, comforts. <laughs> yes. This in any case, we can. are you going to insult me again more, Joseph? Come on. 
In any case, we can process advanced building materials with those furnaces. I've cooked up a number of improvements that we can make to our specialized buildings with them. Let me know what we need. We'll get it built. Charge Firestone removed. Stealing Fire has been completed. Liberate the Sun has been added. Speak with Evangeline Vallier. I'm leaning into the Vallier pronunciation about construction. Okay, so... Dude, nice work. Did it. Got the charged stone. Got the charged mana stone. Trying to get a good, you know, ending spot for us. Got the charged mana stone. Um, finally did a quest. Felt good getting back into the quest. I don't really want to play Sim City, so. Um, and then. Uh, Dude, we gotta talk, speak with Evangeline about the next quest. We'll do that on the next one. We'll get that going. Although I think this is the time where you can build up, rack up your resources <clears throat> before you start Evangeline's quest. So maybe we'll see if we can rack up resources using Churchy's method there. And uh, I don't think we could do it though because we don't have a food store. And I don't know if you want to see. Um, three straight hours of me sleeping for weeks so uh, never mind we're not gonna do that method we're gonna continue to pour power through it and try to try to really build the settlement up to the way they want I guess I mean looking pretty cool to me look at that ceiling honestly look at the ceiling right here I, I've never I didn't notice that before that would have been fun to work on it's kind of stuff I like working on right there Making little grids right there. That's cool. Well, guys. Really appreciate you watching. I felt confident in this episode. I felt good. Let's do it on the next one. Will. Bye.